navigate to the De Young Museum in San Francisco. Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm a product manager on the Google Mobile team. I just drove from the Google office in Mountain View, California, to the De Young Museum in San Francisco, and I used a very exciting new feature of Google Maps to guide me. I'm pleased to announce the beta launch of one of our most requested mobile features. Turn-by-turn -turn GPS navigation with voice guidance is coming to Google Maps for Android-powered phones. Google Maps navigation isn't your typical GPS navigation system. Less than 1% of today's GPS navigation devices are connected to the cloud. But Google Maps navigation was built from the ground up for internet-connected devices. Being connected to the internet means you have all of Google's massive computing power right in the palm of your hand. This means you get all of the latest maps and business data from Google Maps, so you never have to manually download map and POI updates. But that's not all that happens when your GPS navigation device is connected to Google. Let me show you seven things you can do with Google Maps navigation that you can't do with the GPS device you're probably used to. If you've already got a navigation system, then you're used to fumbling around for the exact address, on the exact street, in the exact city of your destination. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Some folks even print out directions just to make sure they type the right info into their device. Some navigation systems do make things easier, with prepackaged POIs like restaurants or gas stations, but they're not going to know about your favorite hole in the wall. With Google Maps navigation, you just say where you want to go, and Google figures out the rest. You can enter your destination as an address, a place, a name of a business, or even a kind of business. Just enter it all as one string, like you would enter a search on Google. If your search doesn't have just one single result, you can choose the one you want. And don't worry if you misspell something. We'll figure it out. Typing on a phone isn't always easy. So why don't we just say where we want to go? Navigate to 1965 Page Street in San Francisco. Using Google Search by Voice, you can speak any destination you might type. This saves a ton of time and pain, and it can find nearly anything. Navigate to Mario's Bohemian Cigar Store Cafe in San Francisco. <laughs> Imagine typing that in. Now, let's say you're going to meet some friends to see the temporary and fantastic King Tut exhibit. But which museum was it at? Let's try this. Navigate to the museum with the King Tut exhibit in San Francisco. Here it is. Because Google Maps navigation is connected to the cloud, it's using all the latest information on the internet. And the King Tut exhibit is at the De Young Museum in Golden Gate Park. One of my favorite features of Google Maps navigation is the live traffic data. If you look in the corner of the screen, you'll see a traffic light glowing green, yellow, or red based on the current traffic along your route. Just tap it to zoom out to traffic view, an aerial view of your upcoming route with traffic conditions shown right on the map. As you drive, the traffic data is updated every few minutes using the latest information available on Google Maps. So no more wondering when that highway is going to stop feeling like a parking lot. And if you are stuck in traffic, you can choose an alternate route to avoid it. While you're navigating, it's easy to find places you might want to stop at along the way, such as gas stations, restaurants, or parking. You can use the Layers menu for easy access to popular types of places like these. But you can also search your route for anything, like my favorite road trip stop, in and out When you do a search while navigating, Google looks for the closest places along your route. Finding the most convenient burger joints has never been easier. One of the most popular features of Google Maps is satellite view, because it's a high fidelity view. Imagine how valuable having that high fidelity view is while you're navigating. Satellite view can help you visualize your route, where you're going, and what the context is. 
and being connected to Google means you can access satellite imagery anywhere. It's all downloaded, as needed, over your phone's internet connection. As you drive along your route, all GPS systems will show you a map and give you voice instructions. Some even show special representations of your turn, maybe an artist's rendition of a highway sign. Google Maps navigation uses Google Street View, actual street-level photographic imagery with your route overlaid to show you exactly what your turn will really look like. And at the end of your route, all GPS systems will tell you the address of your destination, and some even the side of the road. Google Maps navigation does this too, but it also shows you the actual street view of your destination, whether it's a storefront or a home. You probably don't want to place your phone loose on your car's dashboard, so we recommend you use Google Maps navigation with a car dock. Some phones, like the Verizon Droid, has specially designed car docks available for the device. When you place your phone in one of these car docks, your phone will go into car mode, giving you easy access to voice search and navigation. This special car dock mode makes it easy to start navigation while at arm's length. So those are just some of the things that are different about Google Maps navigation, Google's approach to internet-connected GPS navigation. And since you're probably wondering about this, yes, Google Maps navigation is free, though carrier data plan charges may still apply. It's coming soon to Android-powered phones. So stay connected with Google Maps navigation for search in plain English, fresh live maps and traffic data, and street and satellite views.